Hello FFR, this is Tyson Ultima giving a special, well, a special thread presentation for those who want to get into Beat Mania and exactly do not have maybe around a hundred, maybe to two hundred dollars to spend on possibly the controllers or the games themselves or the PS2. So I wanted to help a certain friend of mine out. Shout outs to LJ, by the way, for wanting to get into Beat Mania. Okay, this could also prove to be very useful. I'll try to make this tutorial as detailed as possible, but I only have 10 minutes to spare. So I'll tell you whatever equipment you need and whatever, whatnot. Okay. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download your... You're going to want to find a torrent for your for your version of Beatmania. So, yes, you can run Beatmania on your computer. Which, again, is, I guess, I don't know, not technically legal. But, you know, that's whatever. Uh, you can purchase the games and for a hack PS2, but again, that will honestly rank you up to a, quite a bit of money. I spent probably like $120 trying to get my PS2 with Swap Magic and 2DX Red Edition, but this is in a lot easier way and it comes with a lot more songs than that. So. There's two versions that have a steady build of working. It's been DJ Troopers and Sirius. D uh, people have a bit of problem getting DJ Troopers to work with Windows 7, but in exchange, people have had trouble getting Sirius to work with Windows XP. So I'm going to recommend that if you have XP, download 2DX15. If you have Sirius, uh, sorry, if you have Windows 7, download Sirius. If you have Vista, ask somebody else who's got it working or something, because I don't know. Somebody got Empress to work on Vista, I think, but there are many problems involving Empress to get working. There's just, like never a steady build or steady crack working with Empress, even though Empress is amazing, by the way. Okay. So, again, you're going to have to download the torrent. Torrent uh, total may come out to 17 gigs, gigabyte, no, sorry, 7 gigabytes for the core version, up to 26 gigabytes for the full version. You can download gold to transfer all the videos onto the HDD. If you need to know how to do that, it'll become pretty obvious once you download the HDD. Okay, so here's the HDD folder. I know you can't see it, but it's not that important. It'll have all your essentials in it. Then, there's a folder in here called Cracked. Cracked folder. Click that. Make sure you have that. If not, download it and place it inside your DJ Troopers folder. Okay. You will have two EXEs here. BN2DX Hard, BN2DX Soft. Soft is for older video cards. Hard is for newer video cards. Um, for time base, this I believe is to make sure that, you know, your thing actually runs without lag or whatnot. I'm not sure exactly, but it might link you to the wrong, to the wrong area. So what you want to do is to readjust the time base, browse it towards the SD data, and then calibrate it, and then apply. So that will... That will get that will get it done or whatever. Okay, so you'll probably have the game working after that. Easy stuff. Okay, next is that you want to download something called Storm Codec. I repeat, Storm Codec. I've downloaded a lot of codec packs, K Lite stuff like that, and for some reason the videos were not completely working with DJ Troopers, and that was a bit of a problem. So, when we downloaded Storm Codec, the problem was fixed and the videos were working. I have no idea why this is, 
but you can't really ask why. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'm missing a folder here. What the fuck? Okay, um, normally there is a... Yeah, this is really weird now. Okay. Normally in the 2DX folder, there is a, a config.bat, but for some reason, the config.bat folder is not here, which is actually a bit of a problem. That's not good. Oh, that sucks. Maybe it's somewhere else. Anyway, normally there's a config.bat folder, which you use to... Um, which, yeah, it should be in your crack folder, so it shouldn't be a problem for you. It's a problem for me. Well, it's not a problem for me, because my controls are already set up. I can already re-download it, but yeah. And you just set up your controls, one, two, three, four, five, on the controller. One, in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'll have start, and then it'll have VEFX, which is actually select to change the difficulty. Turntable up counterclockwise, turntable down clockwise. You don't have to worry about turntable stab or the extra turntable. And then I'll ask you if you want to save your settings or if you want to use the uh, mouse. You, I would say, say yes to saving settings, but say no to using mouse. And if you're using an official controller, I would say yes. Um, another piece of equipment that you will definitely need for this, unless you have an older computer, is the Super Joy Box. 3 Pro, not the Super Joy Box 5 Pro, which FFR user Super Freak made the mistake of getting, is the fact that Super Joy Box 5 has lag, Super Joy Box 3 does not. Um, unless you have an older computer that has a PCI port in the back, you will not be able to use the thing that the Dow controller has. The desktop arcade, I believe, has the option to hook up the to hook up, well, to make the thing just a plain USB, but if you only have a PS2 controller, like a Konami official controller, then this will plug into this, which will plug into that, which is very simple. Okay, so we racked up how to get that, remember what to download, how to get it to work, um, okay, um, like I said, this would be uh, get you more songs. It would actually pretty much end out to be free. You would only have to buy the controller itself, which I'd say is like 10 bucks if you can manage to snag one off of eBay with the game or whatnot. You don't have to buy the PS2. You don't have to buy the entire game. You just have to find a working torrent for it, which normally you can do if you join bmaniiso.ws. But the only problem with that is it's invite only, so you have to be cool to join the site. Yeah, I know. Pretty whack. But I have an account there, so I don't mind. But to buy yourself a DAO controller will rack you up. If you want Sanwa, if you want the official arcade experience, it will rack you up till about... Mine was $378. It will cost you a bit cheaper than this. Desktop arcade does not have Sanwa buttons. It does, but... The controller itself is actually really good for around 300 because it isn't this size. It's actually a full-size controller. And I'm pretty sure the turntable is a bit better quality than this for 300 plus shipping, which is like $25. Okay, but you can get Sanwa buttons off of request, but they're really expensive. Okay, and... There you go. I believe that is my little tutorial thing. So you don't need to waste your time getting CS editions because the timing is a lot easier on CS. Sometimes it depends on the TV you have. Like this would not work that perfectly with CS editions. Uh, you'll probably need a CR small CRT screen TV for it will take for it to work perfectly but there you go that is my little video tutorial I will post everything else on the forum if you guys need help 
ordering anything, finding the parts or whatever, just ask me. I'll help you guys out. Later.